Thank you for the great introduction and opportunity to present. Uh, I wish it was on the cards. It'd probably be more interesting. But uh, without further ado, I'll talk about the uh, next generation of materials for PDC bits from Reed High Cologne. Uh, first of all, why, are we, why do we develop better materials? We recognize that our customers must continually push our bits to achieve better performance which and that leads us to develop stronger more durable materials to be able to do so so the next slides are going to be showing our efforts in doing just that for hard facing and matrix materials on pdc bits and during the presentation if there's any questions it's a relatively short presentation uh, feel free to ask at the beginning or if you want to save it till the end that's fine as well so for the hard facing materials, our main focus was to increase abrasion and erosion resistance. Uh, in this chart, you'll see abrasion resistance on the vertical axis and erosion on the hor uh, horizontal. And the goal here is to lose less material. This is a abrasion resistance is ASTM B611. It's basically a, a slurry against a grinding wheel and erosion resistant is bas basically a water jet with, uh, again, slurry uh, with a uh, uh, particles or erosive particles like sand inside of it. So our goal is to push it down into the left and we did just that. We developed a material we call NT wash, not wash, and it's become our uh, primary choice for hard facing material. So in the next slides I'll show you a couple of case histories. Uh, here's, here's one where we uh, it's Columbia 12 and a quarter, Llanos Basin. It's one of the most erosion prone applications I've seen in my life. Uh, it's 950, 1,000 gallons a minute with uh, very high solids content. So you, you do get erosion on your bits. Uh, so we took the same bit with our legacy material and you'll see it has erosion here on the tops, on the back of the blades, inner edge and we applied our NT wash material. And just in doing that, we greatly reduced the erosion. We only have it on the inner edge of the secondaries. So since then, we've changed the design to further uh, improve this and actually in improve the drilling performance to boot. Uh, the next case history is another 12 and a quarter. It's Gulf of Mexico, eight blade, 13 mil and also high flow rate. This one is not as much erosion uh, from the fluid as much as I believe it's extrusion of the sand cuttings in between the, in between the cutters. You see quite a bit of uh, uh, material loss in between the cutters. So in this case, rather than making an entirely new bit for our first test, we took this exact bit, sent it to the repair and applied that NT wash hard facing in those webbing areas in between and ran the bit again. And we had zero erosion. So this pretty much validates this material. If, if you can do it in the Gulf and you can do it in Columbia, then it's a good material to use on, on all of your bits. So that's uh, quickly become our, our standard. The next uh, chart here you'll see, this is for our matrix material. And, and here we're focusing on increasing our strength. This is UT. Um, sorry, transverse rupture strength. And this is again, erosion resistance. So ideal situation, you'd be up and to the left and you'd have one material right here and you would use it on everything. In the real world, there's a trade off. So usually the more erosion resistant, the further down and to the left you'll be. So from our legacy material, we developed this resiliency material, which has higher yield strength and higher uh, erosion resistance. So that one seemed like from the lab testing, a no-brainer for using as a primary body material. Uh, for the E-Resist, we're trying to move from our Duracell, which is a hand-packed patented material that we've been using for years, and provide something with uh, higher strength, uh, with less, uh, less crack-prone material, while still giving a better erosion resistance than these two materials. And uh, so the next slides are a couple of uh, field performances. The first one with the uh, with the resilient C, we we uh, ran 
a TK73, which is a seven blade, 13 mil cutter uh, bit. This application is a two to four bit lateral in Oklahoma, where if you're lucky, you get you get to see your four to, four to six runs out of your bit. A lot of times you'll ring up before you get to see it actually get to this point of, of cracking. But uh, looking at the same design, just changing the matrix powder, we're able to move uh, with this type of cracking after five runs to just barely having a hairline show up here. And statistically speaking, it went from, you know, after at least 20 runs per, per material type, went from a four and a half to a six runs before any, any signs of cracking. So that's a huge improvement. And like I said, it has a, an erosion uh, resistance that's higher as well. So it's win-win. Uh, it's become our go-to material that we developed for matrix drill bits, just for the entire bit to be made out of this. Uh, the next one here is showing some performance in South Texas of our e-resist material, erosion resistance. And this one is a uh, six blade, 19 millimeter cutter, 12 and a quarter. It's, uh, it's always drilling on a vertical assembly or maybe a 10 degree tangent. Here we've, we've always used the Duracell because of the erosion. Again, it's a very large carbide particle, very high erosion resistance, and it works great. So it's always hard to tell yourself, I've, I've used the thing that works great, why am I gonna back off from it? So uh, we developed this material the ear resist that we've proven that we get the same number of runs, actually twice the number of runs and one and a half times the hours and the same amount of zero erosion. So this is our primary go-to for uh, erosion prone applications. If you still have erosion issues, we, we can use this patented material, the, the Duracell. And uh, with that, I open it up to any questions you guys might have. Thank you, John. Thank you. Yes, we have a question in the room. What's the main differentiator? Let me ask your first question. Uh, actually, just come up here and think, since you have, it makes it easier. Uh, yes, so I was wondering, what's the main differentiator in your materials selected to go from abrasion resistance to your erosion resistance? It's a lot of its particle size. Uh, some of it's a blend of different particle sizes, uh, whether you're using uh, different shapes of, of carbides. That's that's the main. Are you talking about for the matrix or for the hard facing? Yeah, for the for the matrix. Yeah, for the matrix, it's generally. Uh, it's going to be a particle size, and, and it's a blend of, of different particle sizes. Okay. So like it, the, the coarser, the, the better the erosion. Like this stuff, this is the hand-packed Duracell. If you just poured this into a mold rather than mixing it by hand and placing it in the mold, it would not have a good day. It would, it would uh, break right off the bat. But it's, so, yeah, if you, could, if you could place very large particles, you'd have, uh, in general, better erosion resistance. No, All right, do we have any other questions? Any questions from online? No. All right, well, thank you, John. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thanks for the opportunity to present.